It's almost deja vu for winning Rupert, a son of Ritten Tycoon, who sired some of his great stakes winners during his time in Queensland. Winning Rupert, the son of Ritten Tycoon, is now based at Grandview Stud and he is an outstanding looking physical specimen, very much in the mould of his sire. a glorious winter's day as Queensland can turn on and Grandview start it's just wonderful seeing you know you've come through winter there's some green in the ground obviously some frost around too but it looks as if it's been a really beautiful winter yeah it's been good we were lucky we had a lot of rain through summer um, which gave us plenty of grass leading into winter um, we do get pretty cold here in the morning so we've had a few frosts and just started planting ryegrass etc for the mares to start following. But winning Rupert he's off and gone at the 150 led by two lengths. Looking at winning Rupert I just love this horse because we know he was Queensland bred so it's really great to see him back up here in the state of his birth and, and I'm sure plenty of Queenslanders would be happy to see him too. That's right a lot of people you know were upset that he didn't come here to start with when they found out last year that he was coming up here he did get a lot of support and he's perfect for this cutest you know, environment like that 1200, 1600 metre horse, which he's getting. Um, that cutest money is great, and he's you know perfect horse for that. Uh, it's getting good mare numbers too, but I guess you know with those first Queensland bred foals arriving this spring too, that's extra exciting. It really is. Like Written Tycoon come to Queensland at a very similar time, um, and worked with Queensland mares, so a lot of people have sort of got you know expectation to hang on this horse might be the same, and you know he's got that bloodline, so they're all throwing those Queensland mares at him, and hopefully we can get the same sort of result, like Capitalist and hit, like Rupert himself were both conceived up here in Queensland. But Samata going great guns in the hands of Dylan Gibbons. Winning Rupert himself, you know, you've got to look at what he's doing on the track currently, like his offspring, you know, Samana, uh, Sione, you've got, you know, horses winning at, you know, Rose Hill and Flemington, seven city winners within a few weeks, of course, back through June and July. Um, I own a Merck and a Passagiata, so, so many horses are really flying the flag. They've kind of just stepped up recently, haven't they? Yeah, it's been great watching. He's sort of had winners in Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, um, Perth, as well as Adelaide. He, he's had winners in every, you know, every major racing jurisdiction in Australia, which is great to see. Um, and it's not just that he's doing it, you know, in his own backyard. We ha you know, had a really good start at Newgate, the horse. Um, he got some really nice mares down there, and that's sort of given him a springboard to, to you know, move on. Winning group at Bay, the 200 metres with a winning break. You know, it's good to remind people, people forget his race career, the BRC Classic, Bow Rogue Plate, Gold Edition Plate, uh, he was so popular up here, as we said, even though, you know, he's trained in Sydney by Bjorn Baker. And Bjorn said he was the fastest horse he'd ever trained. So that's great to remind people what a good two and three year old he was. But he actually broke the Eagle Farm 1200 metre track record as well. So this is what people need to remember. When you look at this horse now, what a great race horse he really was. You just watch his replays and he was just dominant in those. Like, you know, he was unbeaten as a two year old. He had two starts as a two year old. He won both of those and then went on and got beat in the, the Magic Millions three year old race on the back of you know an injury and a setback so the horse was you know as very fast and, and dominant when he when he was going right and he always had that lovely deep liver chestnut and he just has it here he looks in fantastic condition how do you handle a stallion such as him through the winter he, he's pretty easy we he's really easy to deal with we throw a rug on him he he's locked up of a night time he's out of a day he stayed right next to the other stallion they both get on well he runs around a lot does a bit of work you know we start lunging him and that sort of thing and just give him a little bit of work going into the breeding season because he can get a little bit fat but yeah he's, he's just a lovely horse and he's you know, a great type and really strong horse and very easy to deal with. Strong is the key word isn't it? I mean he is just a ball of muscle even now you know that power that he has which you can see is going to throw that great sprint type that the written tycoons throw. Yeah that's the horse all over like he, he just all these folds like I've bred a few mares to him myself and I think he, he throws a really nice type. They're all very similar you know big hips and just strong through the front. As we said you know written tycoon he's been champion sire since you know he had winning Rupert and winning Rupert you know he had a tough time he was he was in the same year as capitalist flying arty extreme choice at Newgate so he really should be getting a new lease of life up here with so many you know different sort of parts of the broodmare population in Australia. Yeah you look at as you said those all those horses that you know he went to start at the same time like his his stats are right up there with those horses um, you know his percentages of winners to runners are you know as, as good as most of them if not better you know, he's had 
65 odd winners this year already so he's doing a great job but neorealism's got a kick pakistan start trying to reach him with werther and blazing speed well you're rather sally neorealism i mean this is just bargain isn't it three thousand three hundred dollars for him by neo universe so he's a grandson of sunday silence he was a group one winner himself and he's the three-quarter brother to real impact who we know won the yasuda kinnan and then the George Ryder Stakes in Sydney and is already a successful sire in Australia and in Japan. So this Stanley, you know, it's early days for him now. He doesn't have that many out runners out and about, but he's just so eye-catching, isn't he? He's a lovely horse and when we got him, I sort of didn't know a lot about the horse and I went and had a look through his race record. He's a very good horse. He won over five and a half million dollars, you know, group one winner. And he's from a really deep family. The mayor, as I said, she's produced real impact and she's got other, you know, she's got another stakes winner there as well. And one of her daughters is actually the mother of a horse that was um, champion sprinter miler in Japan so the horse has got a huge pedigree and I think you know given the right chance he'll, 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 make, he'll do a job. Yeah what do you expect him you know as, as time goes on what do you think will be his most successful types of horses he'll throw? Looking at what we've seen like the, those short square mares that we have here have really suited the horse so it'll just be interesting to see what they're like when they get to the track if what, what sort of distance we get with them. On type wise those get just short square mares really really you know, suit the horse. And he does seem happy here too. I mean, they're lovely, those paddocks you have, they're, they're lovely and flat and they're firm, they're dry, they're really good for them to get out, have a bit of a run around without doing, you know, too much, but they still get the sun on their back, the lovely Queensland sun, and they both look very, very happy. Yeah, it's good to let them be horses and, and you know, not have them locked up all the time and just let them out and do their own thing. And, you know, being next to each other, they're, you know, they're mates really and easy to deal with. People that are, that are sending mares to stallions, is it, is it something that now there is more of a, a return with cutis and, and so many different bonuses applying? That cutis scheme, like, I think it's one of the best in the country. Like every Saturday you've got fillies racing for $83,000 and they're not stakes races, they're just normal everyday Saturday races, which is really you know, great money. And it's easier than Sydney, isn't it, uh, to be honest. So when we get those sort of money, people are you know, willing to invest and, and send their mares. Like you know, we get a lot of people that breed to race at the fees the stallions are, um, and they're happy to do that. And Rupert's had you know, some really good sales results this year as well. Like he sold one for 180,000 at Classic this year. So the horse is getting the results and with his winners that he's getting, recently we, we hope that continues and staff i mean are, are they young people i mean we see generational breeders you know such as you know whether it be the nolans or the mccalpines you know are there enough young people coming through as well because obviously staffing is an issue but there seems to be a real passion from from the younger generation you know kids sort of up into their 20s to want to stay involved in the breeding industry in queensland yeah we we're lucky we've got some staff here that have been here now for you know several years and we do get a lot of kids coming through that are at a local college that do apprenticeships and that sort of stuff to come through do traineeships and that sort of thing. Aquas have got involved with one of the um, schools to help out and do they only do school for four weeks and they're going to do training for four weeks. Basically they have an internship type thing that they do which is there's a lot of children doing that going through they go through the uh, into the Gold Coast there's plenty of kids coming through which is leaving the industry in a great position.